ladies and gentlemen, what's up? My name is Victoria and welcome to Farming Sim 22. I'm finally gonna play it. I did not have a lot of time to play it. Um, there were also a lot of books at launch. But finally, I'm here to put some content on the channel. This is gonna be my character. I made him already. Um, I need to change my name. That's the wrong name. We can't have that. That's... There we go. This is gonna be my uh, character. Um, a little bit of feedback why I'm wearing the John Deere hoodie and the John Deere uh, baseball cap is because um, I grew up on a farm for the first 12 years of my life and that was the farm of my parents and my parents um, took over that farm from my grandfa grandfather and we always had John Deere. Yeah, my, grandfather, my, gran <laughs> my grandfather used John Deere tractors. And machines so did my parents you know so John Deere runs in the family so you know a little homage to my um, to my parents and to my uh, grandfather so there we go here we're on the map this is uh, Elm Creek map Elm Elm Creek yeah Elm Creek map uh, which is a beautiful map let me um, turn down the um, speed I just want to have real time on this solo adventure we need to find a place to live now i'm gonna be honest about this i did not play on this map but i did some scouting for some locations and i think i found it so what i'm going to do we're going to go to the location where i want to start now a lot of people are starting here and uh, let's see where are we i can't find myself wow there this is a lovely area to start, 45, 46, 44. If you buy this, which you can in one go, it's about $156,000. That's not a lot. And you get these, uh, this barn over there, the red one, that red one, and you get these uh, three pieces of land, 45, 46, and 44, which is not a bad start. And if you, you know, if that's... It, it's really nice starting farm. Let me put it that way. You have two lovely barns and it's a lovely starting area. But I'm thinking more about the future because I have a plan what I'm going to do. And I'm going to explain that to you in a moment. But first, because of that plan, because of what I want to build, what I want to create, how I want to run my farm, we need more space. Yeah, even though this uh, lovely starting area is, is really pretty, it's not going to cut it, man. We need more room. All right, so this is our little slice of heaven. Um, once we buy this place, these th this house and these two barns, the rusty old barn and this very big one, are gonna disappear. Well, they're not gonna disappear, but we're gonna get rid of them. Um, too bad that we can't use them. We can't open or close any of those doors. They're just decorations, so we need to. We're gonna sell them, um, and that means we have a lot of space to actually put a production chain in because that's what we're gonna do so let's just buy this land right now and let's go to the map so what i'm gonna do look at what we get how much is this this is 500k though almost 600 577,000. and this is what we get we get fields one two three and we get these three um well two barns and a house so we're gonna buy this place there we go yes all right so as you can see all the way up to let's see what's ours all the way up to over here this is johnson's farmer's market whatever that is we we can turn in weed and stuff like that over there so that's convenient but all this ground all this land this is ours which means we can ex extend greatly we have a lot of space to do really cool stuff and we have some you know it's not a lot of farming land but i won't need that much and i'm going to tell you why in a moment all right Anyways, now we're coming into the construction part. Uh, let me have a look. Construction. There we go. As you can see, I'm just gonna show it to you before we move on. We can't any open any doors. I just want to show you this. That people are not saying, like, why did you sell it? You could use it as a barn. There's nothing we can do with this. There are no doors to open or to close. We can't park anything in it inside. And sometimes if you walk around it... So look here, you can actually see there's nothing there. See in this line, there's just grass and open space in it. There's not even a floor in here. Look at this. So they're just there for decoration. Same with the house. I wish we could keep this house. This house is absolutely amazing. Like it's huge. 
It has these horseback saddles on here. It looks freaking amazing. I really, really like this. Too bad we can't do anything with it. Look at this. Would be amazing to have. But we can't. So. Somebody humming? Whatever. You're gonna go. Click on that. Decoration value zero. Um, sell. Yes. Okay. That's all gone. So what do we need right now? We need a farmhouse. Now I could live in a trailer. Like a poor guy. Or I could actually... It's not what I wanted to do. Can we get rid of this, please? Yes, sell. Oof, thank God for the same amount of money. Okay, let's put it down. Like that. There we go. Okay, this is going to be our house. So that's fixed. We have a starting house right now. What is that sound? It's like somebody's humming in my house. Or vacuum? I don't know. Anyways, that's the house. The entire this area got really... <laughs> it really took a beating. Got kind of screwed up right here. Alright. So, now we need to get equipment. And I'm going to tell you my plan. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a... Um, a sheep farm. We're going to make a biological sheep farm. And we're going to do cotton. Now, let me explain. The first 12 years of my life, I grew up as, uh, on a farm, on my parents' farm. And my real-life job, um, I'm a shepherd. That's what I do. I work with sheep in real life. So I want to do that in here as well. So what we're going to do is that we have these three fields. Um, I'm probably going to use one. What is this, by the way? We have soybeans over here. Let's just check really quickly what we bought. Soybeans. Uh, what is this? Sorghum. Oh, cool. I never worked with sorghum before. And uh, what is this? This is probably just... Okay, this is oat and this is harvested. So, perfect. So, what I'm thinking right now, at this point in time, is... We're gonna use this field. Which one is the biggest field? Kind of guessing here. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of thinking right now. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I think we're gonna use this field for grass. We're going to make a hay, uh, large amount of hay for our sheep. So this is what we're going to use after we harvested this. We're going to make a grass field out of there. We're going to seed grass in here and have that grow. The other two fields over here, because they're, you know, together, they're pretty big as well. We're going to put cotton in. So why are we doing that? Well, the reason is really, really easy. If we want to set up a production chain, a, is it called a spinnery? I just want to make sure I'm not spawning any nonsense production. A, yeah, a spinnery uses uh, wool to make cloth, but it also uses cotton to make cloth. So to get the maximum out of your production, it's um, a very good thing to use wool and cotton to get the most out of uh, your spinnery. Because you have to um, turn them separately on. So if you turn in wool, you have to manually turn on you know, your spinnery. You have only have to do that once. And then it will only make cloth out of wool. But the part that uh, produces uh, cloth from cotton is then standing still. And that's kind of a shame. It can do both at the same time. So we're going to do cotton as well. So that's what we're going to get a spinnery. And then later down the line, we're going to get a... Let's have a look. Where is it? Can we go back, please? We need to get a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Diary, no. Uh, let me have a look. Spinnery, sugar mill, no. Tailor shop. So once we have that cloth, we're going to set up a tailor shop. And then we're going to make from that cloth, we're going to make clothing. And then we're going to sell that. So that's the plan. But we need to get um, sheeps first. We need to get uh, barns with the sheeps. And we need to get equipment to get um, to get going and to start seeding the grass and the cotton of course so i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna buy everything what we need and i'll catch you guys in a bit all right welcome back we have some stuff over here um i added a what was the name again i'm sorry i don't know any of these names in english this is a hayloft so we have a hayloft over here this is perfect down with the road Still don't like how the building thing is going sometimes. It 
seems to bring random parts up and down. I really don't like that, how this is all working, but hey, it is what it is. And then over there, I have two um, barns for the sheep. Now that kind of, look at what it does to the landscape, man. Look at that. Oh man, I hate it. I just put it on flat terrain. Um, so this is a piece where we can, you know, uh, grow something. And then over here, I would hit it the... Alright, whatever. Um, over here we have... Why Why is this going down? It was perfect set up to the road. Look at that. It looks it looks pretty good from the road point of view. Then brings random parts up and down. Look what it does to the ground, man. It's crazy. Hate it. Doesn't really... Uh, We'll make it work. I, I wish that farming sim would just, the giants would change this. It wouldn't work like this. And then over here we have a second one. Look at, again, it just goes up and down and crazy shapes. See how this is. Uh, this is fine, I guess. All right, all right, all right. All right. Cool. Now, uh, we need to get the rest of our stuff. We need to get our tractors and everything else. I kind of, what happened here, man? This was my land. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, I need to buy some more stuff and then I'm going to show you what I'm buying to get this sheep farm up and running in the most perfect way. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the organized farm. Let's have a look. We have our cedar over here, our uh, windrower and tether over here. Well, you know, the tracks of the John Deere. I freaking love this John Deere, man. It looks so awesome. Uh, we have our mowers over here, our forage wagon, and our, you know, our little wagon over here with the rest of the stuff. So everything's here. Now it's time to extend. Now it's time for me to show you guys what we're going to do. This is actually going very well. It's all going perfect. So let's take a quick look what we're going to do right now. Hopefully everything is working out the way I want to, but it should. All right, let's go into construction. And then what I'm going to do is the production chain and let's have a look. So I can have, there are two kinds of like, um, spinneries. This is the first one, which I like style wall, uh, style, style wise. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I do like this one. And then you have, uh, let me check. I believe this is the other one. Yeah. This is more like a factory to me. I it is smaller, like when you compare the width. Um, let's have a look. Because this has that, you know, that area sticking out, it doesn't look as good. Like, well, it takes, it does look good, but it takes more space. But the other one is just a uh, factory, at least for me. Let's have a look. Uh, where did it go? Is this one? No. Ah, where did you go? That's it. This is just a factory, man. I don't like it. So, that's not the one we're going to buy. We're going to buy this one. Uh, now I have to set it up. That looks good. Uh, I'm sitting over there, so that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. It just bugged out. Relax. Relax, game. Chill. It's all good. So, I could put it down like this. Uh, no, that doesn't look good. But, this feels the front to me. With a little entrance, do you know what I mean? Like, but then I have to go all the way around to unload. Uh, let's have a look. Because this is the unloading area on the right side. But what we could do is we could put it down like this, which is absolutely fine. It gives our tractor some uh, space to actually pick up products and stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. And then the other thing we're going to do um, is to get the third thing. So now we have a spinnery. So now we need a... Is it a tailor shop? Or is it a tailor shop? That's the only one, right? Just going to check just to make sure. Uh, let's have a look. Bakery does not a different tailor shop style-wise. Nope, there isn't. All right, so... The tailor shop. I'm gonna put the tailor shop. Oh, it's not that bad. It kind of look like a factory. Oh, I'm standing in the spot where I want my tailor shop. Let's go over here. Construction. I'm sorry about this. Uh, where did it go? Production. Tailor shop. 
So I'm going to put the tailor shop somewhere. Let's have a look. Where am I going to put this and how am I going to put this? So the product is going to be over here, it seems. So I can... Should I just put it down like this? Does it really matter for you guys? Like... I mean, I think it would be fun to have all three front doors face towards each other. I could turn it around and have it like this. Which looks, of course, better from this point of view. Uh, I might, as well, might as well do it like this. Hmm, I don't know. I could do it like this, but... It doesn't really match up with the two other houses, so I'm gonna actually turn it around. And then make it like this. Yeah, that's... I should actually do it like this, but that's not gonna look good. So we're just gonna make this fit nicely in. Is this actually not hitting? What is going on? Hold on. I know I'm being a little bit of a drag with this. Yeah, I think this looks nice. There we go. Perfect. So now we have our very own uh, tailor shop. We have our spinnery. Well, we have our house over there. This looks amazing. I freaking love it. And we have 83 left, which is perfect. Which means we can actually buy the sheeps. But before we buy sheeps, of course, we need to get grass. So that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to make sure we're going to get some grass seeded. So I'm going to grab everything I need for that. I have the seeds. I have the cedar. The only thing I need to do is um, get some lime. This needs lime. And I need to run a machine, lease a machine for that. And then I need to use our cedar. So that's what I'm going to grab. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So here we are. I have the uh, lime. So we can actually get to work here. So let's see if we can get this bad boy to work. Uh, let's turn this on. Yeah, there we go. Up we go. Oh man, the spread. That's some huge spread, man. It's working. It's working. Oh, we're going to be done in no time. I'm actually overspreading right now. Um, uh, I can reel that in. I can. I can. I can. Okay, let's make the turn go kind of perfect, hopefully. Make sure we get everything. There we go. Oh, come on, Traxxer. John Deere. Come on. Go, go, go. We don't have that much lime, I just noticed. Oh man, I'm losing lime rapidly, man. I need to get this going good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this real quickly and I'll catch you guys in the bed. Alright, I'm gonna try to finish this in one bag of lime. Oh, it's gonna be so incredibly close. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Is that it? We have 1% left. That's perfect because we missed a little little area over there let's have a look i'm gonna drive up here it is what it is we have one percent left boys okay i'm gonna make the machine hover over it like hover over the park over it well we can do it yes perfect we did everything with one bag of lime perfect uh okay let me just Go back to the menu, turn that in, and then return. Yes. Okay, that's gone. Awesome. So, now that this has lime, I'm going to show you how you can biological farm in Farming Sim 22. So, I'm going to prep everything, and I'll catch you guys in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I filled up the cedar. Um, we're not going to seed grass, but we're going to seed oil seed radish. Now, oil seed radish is a biological fertilizer. That is what we're going to use as a fertilizer for our grass. And that makes it so that we can have um, a bio biological sheep farm. So let's get this show on the road. There we go. Let's fold out the cedar. 
Let's lower it. There we go. And let's turn it on. And then let's start. And off we go. Alright, welcome to the last part of it. There is something a little bit off on this angle. It's like the cedar is getting stuck here or something. So I'm trying to get this done. And get the cedar over this last white. Please, I'm missing a little bit. I need to go back once. Look, it's almost like it's... Hold on, let me pull up the cedar. There we go. And go one time around. The last speck of white needs to be done as well. The tractor, the John Deere, is struggling so much with this area. But there we go. We got it done. Off we go. And turn the cedar off. Hold it in. There we go. So, here we go. All, uh, oil seed radish is now being grown here. And I know you guys are saying, like, oh, it's 0% fertilized. That's correct. The oil seed radish is not fertilized. But that's no problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Once that grows, so we need to wait until it... Um, once it starts growing and it, you know, it's ready to harvest... We're not harvesting the oil seed radish. What we're gonna do is the moment it's ready to be harvested, we're gonna plant grass over it. And this way, um, it's gonna the oil seed radish is gonna be a biological fertilizer for the grass. So we need to wait till it comes up. So that's gonna be in the next video. The base of our uh, awesome farm is, uh, has been set. I just need to wait for the oil seed radish to be here. And once that's here, we can uh, seed it grass. And once we have grass, we'll, we'll, we will buy the sheep. That's the plan. So I want to thank you guys so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to do amazing things on the farm. Um, so if you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I do on this channel, then please consider to subscribe. I want to thank you very much for being here. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.